Despite the fact that we are unsure of whether or not the mass market requires a zippy, well-handling, mid-sized SUV with three rows and a very identical zippy, well-handling mid-sized SUV without a third row, Mazda is placing its hopes on the fact that there will be a market for both vehicle types. Individuals who take delight in being the car that passes another vehicle on a winding road and who want to be able to do it with a lot of things in the trunk but without folding any seats will find the CX-70 to be an ideal vehicle. At the time of its introduction in the beginning of 2024, the 2025 Mazda CX-70 took everyone by surprise. Instead of being the smaller machine based on the CX-60 that we had anticipated, it was a CX-90 twin that had been given a facelift and had the third row of seats removed. In order to determine whether or not the CX-70 has any significant personality differences from its three-row brother, we put both the 3.3-liter version with 340 horsepower and the plug-in hybrid with 323 horsepower through a test drive. When asked to explain the choice to make the CX-70 its own model rather than a trim level of the CX-90, Mazda representatives are obviously exhausted by the constant stream of inquiries. It is possible that this is an SEO move in the end. According to Dan Aguilar, who is the product manager of vehicle line planning at Mazda, there are two distinct customers for three-row versus two-row. We want to be on the list for both. After that, we will put the CX-90 to the side and examine the CX-70 according to its own standards. It is a mid-sized SUV that is on the larger side, with a wheelbase that measures 122.8 inches, and it focuses primarily on providing spacious storage capacity and legroom for the second row of passengers. The CX-70 bears the shape of a typical Mazda SUV, which is less angular than many of the boxy designs that are already on the market. It also features subtle curves that give it an attractive stance from all angles other than the rearmost one. When viewed from the back, it has a slight protrusion, but then again, so do many of us. The CX-70 receives a lower front bumper that is distinct from the one seen on the CX-90, and all of its trim elements are blacked out in either a gloss or matte finish.